Action! Pony, I'm Master Code, your ace analyst, and today we'll be taking a look at a rather interesting crossover comic, that being MLP meeting Transformers. Admittedly, it's a pretty out there combo. Ponies and mechanized robots fighting together in the same battlefield? Weird, right? Now, something I do want to clarify before I delve any deeper is that my exposure to Transformers media is rather slim. I know that there's tons of different iterations and spin-offs by this point. The original 80s show is what I've been most exposed to, mostly just seeing clips of the show or the movie, but still, giant robots fighting is awesome, so I still have an appreciation for it. And walking into this comic, I know very little about the Transformers and their personalities, and I really only know about the main Autobots and Decepticons, like Optimus, Bumblebee, Megatron, and Starscream. So you can imagine my trepidation diving into a comic of which I know next to nothing on half the main characters, i.e. the Transformers. But I finally read it, and in all honesty, putting aside the absurd notion of MLP and Transformers interacting with each other, this comic actually made it work really good. I came out of it thoroughly enjoying myself. In fact, the very first panel on the very first page sets the tone and acknowledges this crossover's ludicrous nature with Quivopants reading a Daring Do Power Ponies comic and remarking on weird crossovers and how they make little sense. Though it makes me wonder what ideas he has for other franchises crossing over. Spider-Man. Spider-Man exists in that universe. He would go find Moon Knight. He would go find Daredevil. He would go uh, find Hercules. And then that can bring in the entire uh, uh, pantheon of Greek gods that we saw in Clash and Wrath of the Titans. So now we have a giant three uh, franchise Anyway, let's get to the story actual, shall we? So, somehow Queen Chrysalis has escaped her stone imprisonment and decides to seek help for other more powerful baddies by opening an interdimensional portal which happens to connect with a Transformers universe. The Autobots and Decepticons are pulled into the colorful world of Equestria with Megatron's team attempting to establish their dominance over the peaceful planet and Optimus's crew ready to defend their new equine allies. The comic is broken up into two stories with Transformationist magic focusing on Twilight Optimus and Bumblebee, and Shine Like Diamonds focusing on Rarity and Arcee. The writing is particularly well done making the interactions between the ponies and these giant robots dialogue come off organically. Both sides logically ask questions about where they are or where the other are from, and learning about how each of their worlds operate. Like I said, I really don't know a lot about the Transformers or their personalities, but the comics writers did a great job of introducing who these bots are, and over the course of the comic, I was able to learn enough about their character and their traits. The opening scenes of the Autobots falling to Equestria show that Optimus cares about the safety of his friend Bumblebee, Twilight sees this act of empathy and rescues them, showing that while ponies are small, they can still pack as much punch as a robot, and friendship is universal. This is another element that's done well, as you would think the big robots would just clean house by themselves, but the main six do assist the Autobots, making the relationship even ground. During an attack by Starscream, Rarity shields Arcee from the Decepticon attack, while said Autobot takes out one, while the fashionista hilariously takes out the other two by tying them up in claw. Dear Celestia Fine Cloth, no robot or military could possibly compete with that! You magnificent bastard, I read your book! Now, the conversation between Rarity and Arcee is good, complimenting each other, establishing their personality, and dealing some nice quips. However, my only minor gripe is that earlier, Twilight also had an extended conversation with the Autobots, when there was no danger. Here, the girls are having a chat, even though they've only kind of warded off Starscream, who returns moments later. Though again, minor nitpick. And though we only see it briefly, the alliance between Chrysalis and Megatron surprisingly makes sense. On the surface, you're asking, why would a giant robot want a small creature's help when he could just easily crush her. Well, obviously, Chrysalis would use his and his other Decepticons' power to take over Equestria, simple enough, but what can she offer him? Well, total universal annihilation. Think about it, Chrysalis can't apparently open an interdimensional gate to any location in the universe, allowing Megatron's forces to invade any planet or location he wishes, and be able to mobilize his troops on a massive galactic-wide scale. Also, this imagery of Chrysalis on Megatron in tank mode is just Awesome! So far, it's looking like the Bug Queen strategy is really paying off. You magnificent bastard, I read your book! 
Bet you thought you'd never see anything like this in anything official made by Hasbro. As for the art, thankfully we don't have to worry about the thing that's plagued a lot of Transformers comics. do surprise! The Autobots and Decepticons' faces are very expressive, conveying well the various emotions throughout the comic. The scales of the bots to ponies is fairly consistent, and the perspective only looks off a couple times. Like Megatron here, who seems relatively short even with him kneeling to Chrysalis's level. As for the action scenes, there aren't many, but what we got was good. The robots hitting each other flow well from one panel to the next, and showing some decent impact to the punches as well. So that pretty much wraps up the first issue of Friendship in Disguise. Overall, this is a fun comic. Nice introductions and meetings between all the characters, good art, decent action scenes, and really just a fun ride. Next time I discuss this series, it will probably be when all issues are released and I'll tackle them all at once. But that may change. We'll see. Well, that's it for today, guys. Until next time, MC!